Hello, it is Saturday, December 10th, 2011 at 43 minutes past midnight on Central Standard Time. And yesterday there was some extremely high winds in Scotland. Here as you can see a turbine that um, basically this little end cap thing blew off and I don't, I can't see it on here but someone's, it, the article says that the skin was catching on fire and pulling away and this is um, New Scientist, www.newscientist.com and it's, it says, why did a Scottish wind turbine explode in high winds? And I guess they're supposed to shut down in high wind and they're just trying to figure out why it didn't. Let's see. It says that um, it's not clear what happened, but attention is likely to focus on the turbine's ability to shut itself down in high wind. A wind turbine normally shuts down when winds reach 55 miles per hour, but something clearly went awry in Adrasan, perhaps causing excess current in the generator windings, which may have led to the fire. This somehow, this connects to, I did a video on the snake clouds and I'll put a link to it and someone made a comment that the snake clouds contributed to the wind in Scotland and I went and checked it out and you know that just might be true I'm at the Eldorado County weather.com and we're at the we're looking at their world map the world infrared composite and the loop we're looking at goes from December 5th, 2011 at 03 UTC through December 10th, 2011 at 00 UTC. And uh, the, we go, this clicks through on in three hour increments. So I'll go back to the beginning of the loop. The first video I did on snake clouds sh showed was on November 30th. And then around December 3rd, is when they started getting more intense and so this is starting on December 5th and you can go back and look at some of those videos if you want to see the different formations that showed up but looking at the snake clouds are right here see Louisiana this little kind of dark blob here of yellow that's where Louisiana is so it's, it's right in here Mobile Alabama and Ed Eglin Air Force Base are right in here. And then the United Kingdom's up in here. This is Scotland's up in here. This is United Kingdom and Scotland's right in here. And this is Ireland. And so watch you you can't really see the snake clouds that well, but you they were going on during that time period and they you'll see that they would have joined themselves with the clouds going up to Scotland. So I'm going to click through and, and just kind of keep your eye on, you know, pick a cloud and then watch it move through. Actually, there's a V one coming up here in a minute. Like right in, right here, this is coming right out of Mobile. You see it in formation? Now here it kind of breaks out, but some of it's gone in. And if it didn't get included in that, it's in with this. Because they're putting aerosols in the air. And I don't know how that would lend itself to the wind, but then it seems to enjoin itself with something coming out down, down here. You can see the rotation up here. And so this was go went on for several days, well, November 30th. So 10 days, you know, yeah, 10 days, 9 days. And basically constantly feeding it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it play through, which will be a little smoother than my clicking through. And I'll try to pick a spot and follow it through with my my, my mouse here. 
So we're going to go right up in here. So that one kind of went down. Let's see. Well, maybe it missed it. Well, no, see with that too. So I don't know what they're putting in it, if it would affect wind at all. But it looks like that is could easy have contributed to the problem. Let it run through one more time. Starting now. So anyway, there you have it. God bless you. I hope that didn't come from us.